Okay, so I've come prepared for today's video. I've made some notes. I'll be dropping some truth bombs, I'll be dropping some gems, and this video will be centered around three points that you should harness to enable you to have a good chance of becoming a crypto millionaire. Now, as I said, there will be some truth bombs, there'll be some elephants in the room that we will have to address, but I think this is a really important video. So first of all, I'll need your attention. I'll also need you to watch to the very end, and at the same time, you can make some notes. My name is Tom, this is Crypto Busy. If you're new to the Crypto Busy channel, subscribe today and join the Crypto Busy family. And on top of that, a like on this video is very much appreciated to spread this message as far and wide as possible. So with that all being said, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so let's jump straight into it. So the first thing is, is that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. And if you're getting your financial advice from a YouTuber, then you need to reevaluate your decisions. But anyway, let's jump into it. So. This Bitcoin boom, the Bitcoin crypto boom that we're going through right now, that humanity is going through right now, is probably the largest and also most accessible transfer of wealth that we're seeing in human history ever. So you've had the tulip mania, you've had oil, and also you had the dot-com boom as well. But Bitcoin is something completely different. It's a completely different animal compared to the previous booms that we've had in the past. And again, it's the accessibility. Anybody with any amount of money can get involved and buy a portion of Bitcoin, a portion of Litecoin, a portion of Ethereum. It doesn't really matter. And so that's the really important thing. And that's why on top of that, you see a lot of people out there saying, how much do I need to invest? Do I need to invest this much? I'm going to become a millionaire tomorrow type of thing. And Let's address it. We've got two people in this world. You've got person A and person B. Person A has $500,000 spare to invest. All they need to do is to put it in Bitcoin, wait for it to go to $120,000 and boom, there you go, you've got your million dollars. And the thing about person A is that there's not many people who are person A. And on top of that, if you are person A, then you're already most likely a millionaire. I would say we also have a person called person B. Person B has $500 spare to invest and they want to invest that into something and they want that to go to a million dollars tomorrow. That is not going to happen. It is very unlikely. It's not zero, but it's very, very unlikely that $500 is going to turn into a million dollars in such a short space of time. And we've already seen, you know, the 2000 X coins already, the, the old coins, the, the old coin undervalued gems that are out there where you know, they've already 1,000 decks or the 2,000 decks. So if they 2,000 decks, that $500 is already a million dollars. So what we're doing at Crypto Busy is we're working hard behind the scenes, we're working long and hard behind the scenes, you know, 24-7, 365, to find those undervalued gems that can potentially 1,000 decks or 2,000 decks. And so that's why we make a video on it from time to time of these coins that can potentially 1,000 decks. And, you know, again, that is a potential. So it's not going to, it's for certain it's going to happen tomorrow. That is, that is for sure. But these have the potential. So we have to address the elephant in the room is that there'll be some people out there that can turn their cash into a million dollars much more easily and much more quickly compared to a lot of people who have, you know, compared to the $500,000 to invest. And so that's the first thing there. So when people ask me, how much should I invest to become a millionaire or how much should I invest in crypto? It is how much you're willing to lose. The second thing with crypto is that it's a very high risk asset. So it's so volatile, it's very high risk. And so if you're going to invest in something that is extremely high risk, then you have to be willing to lose that money in a certain sense. You have to have that mindset when it comes to investing in crypto. So that's that's the next thing. And so with that as well, I would say um, there's a thing called dollar cost averaging. So you put in a certain amount every single day or every single month. And so if you don't have a, you know, a certain amount to invest, then it is a cash flow problem. That's the next thing. It is a cash flow problem if you don't have the certain amount to invest. And that could be you're spending things like on Netflix when you shouldn't be spending things on Netflix. You're spending maybe that, you know, four or five dollars or ten dollars uh, a, a cup of coffee unnecessarily every single day things like that if it's a, if it's a job then it's completely different right so then i would say again none of this is financial advice i'm not financial advisor i would take a certain amount of my salary every single month and i'll put that certain percentage doesn't really matter what certain percentage i'll put a certain percentage of that into bitcoin into crypto and by doing that, I increase my position over time. And that dollar cost averaging, as we go through this next bull cycle, will become even greater as we go through these next few months. And so that's the next thing, which is really important. So it's investing, it's looking into what I need to get into. And so that's really the key thing there as well. So those are the elephants in the room I want to address. It, you know, it's not going to happen all tomorrow. You have to have a long-term perspective about this as well. But let's go straight into it. So 
There are three things that I want to address in today's video that are really important. And by harnessing these three things and by understanding these three things, then you have a very good chance of turning your cash, whether it may be 500, 1,000, 10,000, 20,000, $500,000 into a million dollars, or if not, quite a lot of cash that will be life-changing sums. We get lots of comments every single day that the videos that we produce at Crypto Busy have made life-changing sums for themselves. And uh, you know, we're very grateful for that. So let's address the first thing. The first thing is you have to be, and there's no ifs and buts about this, you have to be a stats person. You have to love looking at numbers, looking at percentages, looking at percentage increase, percentage decrease. You have to love numbers and diving straight into the charts and all that sort of fun stuff. And so that's why I address at the beginning of the video every single day that I make a video, I always look at the Bitcoin dominance because that's the next thing. When you look at the markets, that is, you know, we've got Bitcoin and the rest is, you know, the altcoins. Um, you know, the Bitcoin market cap right now is $1 trillion. Let's take a step back. $1 trillion, that is a, an eye-watering, hefty amount of money. That's crazy. Absolutely, you know, unbelievable amount of money that is in Bitcoin. So if you have a look at just the simple question of what is more likely to increase in value more, I'm looking at the coins that have the market cap, not really the price of the coins. So $57,000 to a lot of people, that is a lot of money. That is a lot of money, right? But look at the market cap. You may see, for example, wrapped Bitcoin. That's also $57,000, but that is $7.7 billion in total market cap. So I'm looking at the market cap and how far can that market cap go and increase. And so that's why you see a lot of videos out there that say these micro cap gems, all that sort of you know stuff about these low cap micro cap gems that you can see and invest in because you're looking at the market cap increasing, going to 10x, 100x, 1000x, rather than you know the Bitcoin value itself. They're tied, but it's the number you have to look at and the stat that you have to look at is first of all, the Bitcoin dominance, because for us, we believe that the return on investment is with the altcoins, not really with Bitcoin. It's, it's a good investment, Bitcoin, in my, in my opinion. This is just my opinion. But you know, the return on investment, I was, I'm going to see, I feel that I'm going to see a greater return on investment with the altcoins compared with Bitcoin. And so that's where I look into it. And so that's another thing. I look into the Bitcoin dominance. How's the Bitcoin dominance doing? So you can see here over time, Bitcoin's dominance over time. This was the last alt season that we had. This was back in 2017, 2018. 2018 was, or the beginning of 2018 was the last alt season. And so the Bitcoin dominance has increased ever since. And so that's why I keep on going on about it. The Bitcoin dominance, how it's 60%. To really see the altcoins flourish and go to face melting gains, we have to see that Bitcoin dominance go below 50%. And so that's where I feel that's what we'll see going into an altcoin season. And that's where I do feel you will be seeing that $500, that $1,000 turn into 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, maybe even a million dollars very quickly, very easily. And so that's the next thing. You have to be a stats guy. So let's talk about the next thing. We want to talk about the trends. So the next thing you have to identify and be aware of, this is the second point, is look at the trends and then also know when to get in know when to get out. So a lot of people in the crypto community, you'll hear this a lot, uh, you'll hear this phrase, buy the dip. Now, that is not financial advice. We're not financial advisors. Nobody in the crypto community is a financial advisor. But when people say buy the dip, they're not just saying that and sort of saying, okay, just buy the dip. I'll let, I'll let you on into a little secret, guys. A lot of people out there in the crypto community, when they say they're buying the dip, they're actually buying the dip. And that is another thing. It's sort of dollar cost averaging over time. It goes back to the first point of dollar cost averaging. If you're buying the dip, you're dollar cost averaging. If you're buying the top, you're dollar cost averaging. And over time, you see the trend, you identify the trend and it goes up and you see the money increase there as well. So identifying the trend. Right now, we're in a crypto summer. We've gone through the crypto winter of 2018 and 2019, parts of 2020 as well. And now we're going through a crypto summer of what we're seeing right now. And so that's the other thing as well. People will say that, you know, if historically, if you sell Bitcoin, you regret it. This is from Altcoin Daily, a tweet from Altcoin Daily. They said, yeah, you know, if you historically, if you sell Bitcoin, you will regret it. And that's, again, looking at the trend of what Bitcoin is doing. So it's increasing your position. So the key thing is, again, not financial advice, it's increasing your position over time and finding accessible ways to get into that as well. So identifying the trends. The trend is your friend. Speaking about trends is Google Trends. So you can see here, Google Trends, this is your friend, befriend it, 
um, you know, star it on your page, make it your favorite if you want to. I'm, I'm gonna do that right now, actually, I'm gonna make it my favorite. So identifying the trend over time. So Bitcoin, you type in Bitcoin into Google Trends, and you can see here back in 2017, this was the last bull run that we saw. And so if you look at it here, you've got 100%. So this was 100% of the interest was back in 2017. And we've only pretty much got half of the interest, if not 23% of the interest compared to Bitcoin when it's 100% of the interest search terms. So not many people are searching for Bitcoin uh, now compared to 2017. But if you have a look at people typing in crypto, it's more compared to 2017. So more people are getting involved in crypto into the altcoins. And this is where I think you'll see a lot more people getting into the altcoins. And that's why I see a better return on investment with the altcoins. So that's my second point. The second point is knowing when to get in, knowing when to get, you know, knowing when to get in, looking at buying the dip. This is what I'm doing. You know, I'm not financial advice, not financial advisor, and also knowing when to get out as well. And this is another thing where I call back to the first point of looking at the Bitcoin dominance. And that's another key thing there as well. Once I see things going crazy and I also see the Bitcoin trend and I see this Bitcoin trend go up to 100% again, I'm going to be out of the market because a lot of people are going to be getting into the market and that's where things are completely parabolic. And you know, getting out of the top, the top, is quite impossible to do. So you have to find a certain area to get out of the market. So I would say identified a certain amount of cash, lump sum cash that you want to make in this market, get to that point, maybe set it a few you know, pegs lower to be able to get to that point quicker than easier and, and much more you know, likelihood of getting there compared to, you know, I want to make a million dollars and that's, that's it, that's final, rather than focusing on what else money can do for you as well. So that's a really key thing there as well. So I said at the beginning of the video, you have to be a stats guy, you have to love numbers and get involved in numbers. But I think also coupled with that, you have to look at the bigger picture. That's my third point. You have to look at the bigger picture and what's happening around you. How is it in the space of three years, in the space of three years, you've had banks go from the, the tone of Bitcoin's a scam, crypto's a scam, don't go anywhere with it with, with the yard pole, to three years later, fast forward three years later, they're now saying we're going to open up a trading desk in Bitcoin, in crypto. How has that happened? How has that change of tone happened in the space of three years? This usually take decades of lobbying, of protests for an institution to change their mind and change their tone on something so profound. To go from, this is a scam, don't go anywhere near it, to we're actually going to open a trade, trading desk of Bitcoin and of crypto. So that is the effect Bitcoin is having on the institutions that are out there. And so that's the really key thing is that the institutions are involved in this bull cycle compared to the previous bull cycle. So there's that as well. So the Bitcoin trend is not over. Big whales aren't selling Bitcoin data shows. And coupled with that as well, you've got uh, Elon Musk. So uh, KSI has tweeted out here saying he might buy a Tesla with Bitcoin. And um, Elon Musk with his Tesla cars, you can now be bought in Bitcoin. Um, I think this is also a, a bit of a smart move here because if Tesla stock does go down and they can't pay the investors, and I think they will use Bitcoin's uh, cash, Bitcoin's reserve to pay the investors and pay the offset there. So I think it's a really important thing there as well. And coupled with that is the uh, the Federal Reserve in the United States. So we recently passed a $1.9 trillion stimulus package, which is going to help a lot of families in the States. That's really cool to see. At the same time, the macro scale, the, the big picture of this as well, is that the Federal Reserve is just printing money every single day. And Bitcoin price eyes more explosions as Biden considers a new $3 trillion package. So on top of the 1.9, so let's call that $2 trillion, we're now $5 trillion, probably even more than that, uh, of just the Federal Reserve just printing money every single day. And the more that you print that money every single day, the individual notes is going to become worth less over time. And that's not good for anybody who's holding just cash, in my opinion. So there'll be people out there that say, I want to hold cash and that's it. I would say for myself, I'm going to be holding a certain amount of cash just because you need to have cash to live, but also on top of that, diversify into other things as well. So let's have a quick recap of what I've been talking about in today's video. So first of all, you have to be a stats person. You have to love the numbers. You also have to be aware of when to get in. Identify the trend. We talk about this at Crypto Busy every single day. You know, looking at our videos and analyzing our videos, we identify areas and places when to get in and when to get out of the market. That's what we talk about at Crypto Busy in our videos. So you know, looking into buying the dip, that's what we're doing. I wouldn't say to do that yourself because this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor but also know when to get in, know when to get out, dollar cost average. 
And then on top of that as well, be aware of the bigger picture. So when you have doubts in the market, have a look at the market cap. It's $1.7 trillion. When you have doubts about what's going to happen with Bitcoin, have a look at, again, the institutions that are getting involved in Bitcoin, in crypto. And I think also the next thing, the next big thing will be, you know, Ethereum. And I think a lot of institutions will be getting into Ethereum relatively soon. And also the elephant that we need to address in the room and the truth bomb is that, you know, a person with more money is going to make a million dollars much easier compared to a person who has, you know, maybe a bit less than that. So we have to address that as well. So I think it's more really about making as much money as you can compared to with having, you know, sort of a million dollars as your as your main goal. Have that as have that as a goal if you want to, but also be aware that you can do a lot of good things with even ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars. Those sort of figures, that's a great deposit on a house. So, you know, those those are other things as well you have to be aware of. So hopefully I've made sense in today's video. I'd love to know what you had to say. If you agree with me, what do you agree on? Comment down below what do you agree with me on? And if you, if you disagree with me, comment down below what you disagree with me on. And I'd love to know what you had to say about that. And I'll also be responding to the comments down below as well. We also like to help you guys out at Crypto Busy. So also be sure to check out all the necessary links in the description below to help you guys out and also you have out the channel at the same time. On top of that, follow us on Twitter, join our Telegram group chat, subscribe to the Crypto Busy channel if you're new. And on top of that, a like on this video is very much appreciated. So that all being said, my name's Tom, this is Crypto Busy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.